Kish to do and check the Sean Crow and uh, call the Tonish Chair. As the Deputy will be aware, I have made lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and intersex rights a human rights priority and am firmly committed to combating discrimination on the grounds of sexual orientation or gender identity. I have put on record our strong disagreement with recent LGBTI-related Russian legislation. Such legislation, while purporting to protect young people, is more likely to result in the further stigmatisation and indeed criminalisation of LGBTI young people. My department has made our position known to senior officials at the Russian Embassy, and it is my intention to raise the matter at my next meeting with a Russian minister. Reports of a recent upsurge in violence against LGBTI people in the Russian Federation are a matter of grave concern, including deeply disturbing internet footage purporting to show young LGBTI individuals being lured to a location and violently assaulted. Let me state clearly that any acts of violence directed against members of the LGBTI community in Russia, or anywhere else for that matter, are unacceptable and to be deplored. While polls suggest the recent legislation enjoys broad popular support in Russia, I believe that no government should legislate for prejudices, but rather should confront and overcome them. Ireland worked to ensure that the EU statement at the 24th session of the Human Rights Council in Geneva on the 17th of September contained a strong reference to our serious concerns over Russian LGBTI legislation and called on the Russian Federation to strive for greater inclusiveness and tolerance. Ireland's permanent representative to the Council of Europe restated Ireland's position last week and noted that respect for the rights and freedoms of LGBTI persons was now an, the accepted norm across Europe and that society had benefited from this. In my own statement to the UN General Assembly on the 28th of September, I was critical of legal measures increasingly being adopted which do not protect human rights in law but instead discriminate against people on the basis of their sexual orientation or gender identity. The EU is considering how best to ensure that our concerns are kept firmly on the agenda of the Union's structured dialogue with Russia, which includes specific consultation on human rights. Ireland will continue to participate actively in the EU's preparations for these and other senior level meetings with re Russian representatives. Margaret Tarnish, Jack De Shankro. Margaret On June the 30th, the Russian President Vladimir Putin signed into law the, 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 the bill banning the propaganda of non-traditional sexual relations to minors. And I suppose, first of all, what I want, the reason I put this question down was one, to draw attention to what was happening, but also to get, you know, a unified voice from this house in relation to our uh, total uh, abhorrence with uh, what's happening in relation to uh, what's happening to LGB uh, people in, in, in Russia. Um, the posting of um, videos online, it's not only in relation to assaults, uh, it's the kidnap, torture. It's also encouraging uh, more attacks in relation to this. Um, I suppose what, what, what I really wanted to put down was that I um, want to know what else you, you, you've said that you've contacted the, uh, you've made our position known to the ambassador. What else can we do as a community in relation to this? I know that President Obama has spoken out openly against it. The Australian government have called on the IOC to reconsider staging the Olympics in, in Russia as planned. And as part of the global speak out day of action, at least 33 cities in 21 countries had events uh, to protest these Thank laws. You, and there's also an online petition related. So, uh, you know, uh, you've said you've condemned these laws and, you know, you're committed to pushing the, the, the issue bilaterally at EU and the international level. Is there anything else we in this house can do in relation to this. Thank you. Say it's to to we're totally opposed to what's happening. But what I'm worried about is that it's time. not only what's happening in Russia, it's also going to be encouraging other people in other countries to do similar actions. Well, we've already uh, pursued this at a number of levels. Um, first of all, uh, my own department has been in contact with the Russian charge de here uh, and informed him of our concerns. Uh, I have asked officials in my department to actively engage on this issue in various international fora and to explore what avenues can most effectively be pursued uh, in voicing our concerns, including uh, with our partners in the European Union. Uh, together with uh, our like-minded partners, we have worked to ensure that the EU statement at the 24th session of the Human Rights Council um, contained a strong reference to our serious concern over the Russian LGBTI uh, legislation. 
um, the Council of Europe, of course, where, of which Russia is a member, um, at that uh, Committee of Ministers' deputies meeting in Strasbourg last week. Uh, we expressed again our concern over the legislation. In my own statement at the United Nations General Assembly, uh, I was uh, very critical of uh, legal measures being adopted uh, which do not protect human rights in law and instead discriminate against people on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity. And I specifically um, uh, identified with the courageous leadership that has been shown by uh, the UN Secretary General, uh, where he uh, promised in April to lead a global campaign for, uh, for gay rights. As I said, I intend to... Uh, uh, due to meet um, a Russian minister uh, in the near future, and I will be discussing uh, the issue with him. And I welcome the fact that you're, you're going to raise it again. I think it's, you know, it's bizarre that the victims in many cases are being um, blamed on the actual attacks uh, they've suffered in, in, in the inciting nature of this, this legislation. Has been. So I can't understand where this, this is coming from. I don't, I don't understand the history of it. Um, but you know, I think you know, there's, it's, it's important that we all stand together in this house and oppose fully in relation to it. I welcome the fact that you're going to raise it again and I'd, I'd urge you at any 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 opportunity uh, to, to raise this issue with the Russian authority it's unacceptable and um, it's archaic um, but the fact that the victims are being blamed in relation to these attacks is you know it's the bizarre element to all this thank you deputy Thomas final reply on this time. well it, it is as I've said um, uh, we have um, identified um, LGBTI rights uh, as a human rights issue, and that's something we're pursuing uh, actively well, through our membership of the Human Rights Council, which we took up in January of, uh, of this year. Um, we're using o other international fora uh, in, which, uh, in which to do it. This is legislation that um, has been passed uh, in Russia, part of their, uh, part of their laws, um, and we will continue to um, bring that to their attention, bring to their attention our concerns about it um, and uh, to, to make the point very clear that as far as we're concerned human rights are, are universal and should apply in Russia the same as they apply anywhere else. Uh, question three on Jackie McWallis. Uh, Councillor Staff and our embassy have uh, persisted uh, in their efforts to, to have contact uh, with the uh, four members of, of this family who are, who are detained. Um, there are also people